Good morning, girlies. Hey, babes. Welcome back to I Love Milani. It is your girl, the girly Anastasia Milani. And welcome back to Vlogtober. Welcome back, y'all. Come in, come in, come in. We are up bright and early. Um, it is very early, y'all. My makeup done, hair done. I have a few things I need to get done, like immediately well not immediately in a short span of time um so thing number one we're on our way to walmart right now to go pick up this pickup order real quick that i placed last night um luckily it was only a few items it said it didn't have it said oh dang i should have right there see this is what happened that's why you shouldn't be on the phone and driving so like i was saying y'all i'm at walmart right now oh okay little son I'm at Walmart doing a pickup order really quick, y'all. I'm running a little behind on my schedule personally. Um, I should have already been back home dropping this stuff off by now. But we're here picking up our items. There's a few items that were missing, but hopefully I can get that at the next place because I'm going to Trader Joe's. I've not been to Trader Joe's, I feel like, in a minute. They don't open up for another like 10 minutes. That's why I was supposed to have all this already handled and my stuff dropped back off and be at the door right when it opens. Um, but it's okay we're gonna just go with the flow of things um i'm excited though to go to trader joe's because i want to get their fall stuff like anything that they have out for the fall the pumpkins and the spices and all i want to try it so we're going to trader joe's to go and grab that stuff i want to go take a couple pictures i don't know if we're gonna have time to but that's like the plan um to take a couple pictures so i'm excited it's bright and early and i feel great i feel great i hope you guys feel good as well and yeah okay y'all so let me call y'all back once they bring my stuff out and if you have not already subscribed please consider subscribing and joining the milani family you guys know i would love to have you here we have a good time it's october we turns up and yeah hit that subscribe button thank you <laughs> she shot <y 'all> <clears throat> it's quite a bit i'm here dumb early and it's quite a bit of people this is the longest i've had to wait for my pickup order um i guess everybody come early i didn't know that i usually come i don't know like midday or like no i usually come like around 11 10 but bright and early everybody is here sheesh all right y'all we have the goods our little things or whatever so now we're headed back home to drop this stuff off and then we're gonna go from there i need to actually make sure i don't have any perishables i don't feel like i do but we'll see um y'all i'm really learning like or getting better with patience like when things are out of my control i just let it freaking be it is what it is uh, beforehand though that was not me i used to be like get worked up and stuff and now i just i don't know i feel like i live a life of more ease it's definitely more ease and just i just let it be so this situation where i'm waiting like and waiting and waiting and they are running um behind i mean even she apologized like for it being like an extreme wait time i would have yeah i'm just saying god has has definitely worked on me and i'm thankful so yeah let's go <laughs> I don't know what flowers I want. These pink ones are pretty. These yellow ones. These are nice.
I thought I'd go in these people's store and spend a hundred dollars. I feel like I don't even have nothing. Like, what did I spend a hundred dollars on? I'm so confused. I got two bags. I did get like multiple flowers, but you know, these flowers don't even be expensive. So I am confused on how I spent a hundred dollars. Um, yeah. And now I'm running out of time. I'm about to still try and see if I can go take just a few pictures. I didn't even get, I thought I was gonna like come in here and get like fall stuff, pumpkin stuff. I think I got like one pumpkin thing that I'm gonna try, but I did not even get like much pumpkin. I only got one thing that was pumpkin flavor, y'all. I'm not adventurous. In my head, it sounded good. Come in here and get like fall, fall, um, Trader Joe stuff. But I should have known everything is gonna be pumpkin and I'm not, I'm not even really that type of gal. And I'm not adventurous when it comes to food. So it sounded good. It didn't work out that way, but it is what it is. We're about to get up out of here and go try and take pictures real quick. So let's go. Oh, not you coming out too. Come on, stink. We can come out together like synchronized swimmer. But yeah, that was a hundred dollars. What did I get, y'all? I gotta look at my receipt. Did she triple scan me? I'm really, honestly, I'm trying to figure out what I got. Like, I just feel like I did not get, oh, I just feel like I didn't get that much stuff. I did get two frozen items. I got this tiki masala um, frozen chicken that I've been wanting to try. So I got that. And then oh, I did get some dumplings. I mean, I guess I got some stuff. I guess I got some stuff. So, but when we get home, I will show you guys. I'll do a haul and show you everything that I grabbed. I am freaking done. I came all the way out here to take these pictures, right? Right. I forgot yesterday, the part that like I put my phone on on here had fell off and I picked it up and I put it in my room. I forgot completely that that happened. And so when I went to go put my phone on the tripod, oh, y'all, sorry. Um, I went to go put my phone on the tripod. Of course, there's nowhere for me to put my phone. Like maybe I can try and sit it on here. I'm about to try and do something because I did not come all the way out here or nothing. So let me see. <clears throat> all right, y'all, I don't know what them pictures came out like, y'all. I'm just happy I still seen it through. That just, you know, continues to show me that I'm dedicated to the process. Um, if I did not have to freaking leave and be somewhere, I would still be taking pictures right now. Or I would be like finding somewhere else to take pictures. But I'm like on a tight time schedule and I really need to be leaving. Or really should have been leaving. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, I wanna show you some of the things I got from Walmart. <clears throat> some of the stuff is like my usual is what I always grab. And then I'm gonna show you the stuff I got from Trader Joe's. Let me set y'all. Let me start with the Trader Joe's stuff. Some stuff is normal, like eggs. Boom. Then I got these little salads. And these are the ones without meat um, because I'm doing meatless this week. Well, not meatless. I'm doing no like chicken, red meat. I'm just doing salmon, um, but that's only for dinner. So these are just the meatless one. I'll probably boil some eggs and add it, but this is the Greek salad one. Then I got two of the Caesar salads. They're just easy. Now see, it was a glare, but yeah, Caesar one. They're just easy and good and quick that you can have. Then Walmart was out of my broccoli for whatever reason. So this was even better because this is the fresh one. So I just got the fresh broccoli. Then my go-to oat creamer. This is the best oat creamer. Um, well, actually, you know what? No, the other oat creamer I'm about to show you may be better, but this is really good. This is the OG brown sugar one. That's good. And then I got this draft Colombe. I don't know. Colombe draft latte pumpkin spice cold brew. Looks like this. 
I've never had that before. First of all, I never had a draft latte in a can and then definitely not pumpkin spice or cold brew. So we're gonna try this in a second. And I got these spicy pumpkin samosas. I never had a samosa before. These ones didn't have meat. I think all the rest of them, or they may have a vegetable one, but um, oh, these are actually mini, mini spicy pumpkin. Interesting. I don't know if you're supposed to have a sauce or something with these, but I just grabbed these because it was given like, you know, the holiday spirit. And then I grabbed the OG. I haven't had these in so long. The dumplings, the chicken ones, the soup chicken dumplings. And then they have a vegetable one. I've never seen this one. So I got a vegetable one. Yeah, I've never seen the vegetable one. Hmm. I mean, it was smart to do a vegetable one because these are so popular, the chicken ones. And then I think they have pork ones, which I don't fool with the pork ones, but these are hella good. So I'm wondering if these are gonna be good. I'm excited. So we got that. And then I grabbed the sparkling, this is which one? The sparkling elderberry and pomegranate apple cider vinegar beverage. It looks like this. Very gut friendly, gut healthy. So I got that. And then I got the chicken tiki masala, like I told you guys. It's just like a little frozen dinner dish. So we'll be trying that. I don't know if maybe eat this together. But I got that. And I got a little immunity ginger shot. And this is a turmeric shot. A super shot. Okay, I'm starting. I guess I'm starting to see where the $100 went. I guess. And then I got pineapple, of course. Got some pineapple. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm starting to see where the $100 went. Because I also got the fruit and vegetable wash. <clears throat> I had ran out of this, so I just grabbed another one. I got the sparkling, <clears throat> excuse me, a sparkling water, the cranberry and lime flavor. I just wanted to taste their sparkling water and see if I liked it. Because I only like certain sparkling water. Some of them taste like too, like club soda only. I don't like those ones. Then I grabbed some avocado spray because Walmart was out. Um, I don't know if I even really... Well, I guess the first ingredient, it says avocado oil, so it's probably good. It's Trader Joe's. It's probably good. It's a brand that I get from Walmart that's really good, that I know it's like good avocado oil, not all that extra fake oil added in. Um, and I got some papaya. Gut, gut health. Boom. I got two Bear Bells, which are protein bars. I got the Creamy Crisp and the cookie dough chocolate dough one of the only protein bars that i actually enjoy and like are those ones and then top it all off i got <laughs> three packs of the soft and juicy mango dried mango i was craving it like this is really actually what i was craving are these soft and juicy mangoes so good i've just been like on a mango kick and I forgot to get some from Walmart and Trader Joe's didn't have any like fresh mango. So got that. And then my flowers. I got these white ones, white roses. This little cute frosted. Ooh, it definitely has a scent. Um, greenery. Then these little baby orange roses. And then these little are these dandelions little yellow and orange ones so wait a minute it's definitely given the fall but we're gonna put these together a little later today make a cute little arrangement with those a little later tonight uh, okay so that's everything from trader joe's now that i have everything out I can definitely see. I, I see it now. At first, in the basket, it didn't feel like much was in there, but I could definitely tell now. Okay, y'all. Now the stuff I got from Walmart. I took this stuff out this time around. See if it makes it easier. Again, this stuff is like my go-to usuals that I always 
grab. So starting off, when I was talking about the Trader Joe's creamer, this Planet Oat Vanilla French Vanilla Creamer is goaded. It is so freaking good. I might like this one better than the Trader Joe's one, but they're both really good. But this one, and you get a big thing for like double the price, but she's real good. And then I try not to have a lot of dairy like in my diet in general. So I do use these so delicious coconut alternative um, yogurts. And I use these with my like chia seed, like if I do like a chia seed pudding parfait situation. So I got a vanilla and a strawberry banana one. And I use like half of one for a parfait. And then I have some whipped cream cheese. And typically put that right on my little rice cake. Real good, real, real good. And then on top of that, cut out some strawberries. Okay, y'all, my thing is out of storage, so I have to like hurry up. So another thing I got is this Chobani Flip. Um, I got the key lime one. I really like the peach cobbler like one they have, but they never have it in stock. So I just grabbed this one, this rice cauliflower. I rarely eat rice. If I eat it, it's probably on the weekend or if I'm like having like a little, I don't know, cheat meal, but rice cauliflower. The Fairlife Core Power um, Vanilla. I use this in my coffee just to add like some protein to my coffee. Um, green tea, decaffeinated. These are so freaking cute. I seen this when I went into Walmart and I just grabbed two more. I got the hickory brown sugar and the teriyaki because for dinner, I'm gonna have salmon, rice, with a cauliflower rice, broccoli, um, maybe black bean or sweet potato. And then I just like to drizzle this on top. Super good. I use Mrs. Dash's, the no salt seasoning. These are really good too. Yo Plate finally came out with some protein yogurts, and I do like these ones. They're only 100 calories. You get 15 grams of protein in there. And I like to get the vanilla so I can mix in like my own flavors and berries. And this is the sparkling water I like, y'all. <laughs> I, I think it's because it's sweet and it has that stuff in it that I know I shouldn't be drinking. What is it? The aspartam? Aspartam. But. I like these. And then when I want like a little chocolate fix, I have these little Quest cookie frosted. It literally tastes like a Hostess um, frosted chocolate donut. That's what these taste like. And then I get these little 100 pack or 100 calories packs with the cashew almonds and the dried cranberries. Love those. And I'm about to put this stuff up a little later. I'm going to cut this watermelon I have, put these flowers together. But right now, let's go make some coffee and put this up. Okay, y'all. Instead of having some, you know, nice little aesthetically pleasing music, I decided to do a voiceover. So as you've seen, I use the Rise Mushroom Coffee. Um, I really like that coffee. It works well for me, especially like I'm caffeine sensitive. So that does the job without making me like jittery. I did throw, <laughs> as I say that, I threw in, oh, girl, girl, girl. Okay, we back. So this is my little Starbucks cup. I did add um, ice to that coffee right there. Um, it just makes it like an iced coffee real quick, real simple. Back to pouring because we are a pro. Show them how, you know what? Okay, clean up that mess. I put a little Fairlife uh, protein milk in there. And then we add our little creamer. Only had about a corner left, so we just use that on up. But that's all you need. And then I tried this cold foam stuff for the first time. Um, it's okay. It's, I just, it's okay. I probably wouldn't buy that again. But it's not bad. So, boom, we did that. And then we're going to put a little top on. Boom, boom. Cute. Ah, show the Starbucks. She real cute. My mama got me this, y'all. It's real cute. All right, y'all. So, we got our iced coffee. This is so good, y'all. So, so, so good. I did put, um as you've seen, like the Folgers packet in there. I usually don't use that. But if I'm, like, tired and I need, like, a pick-me-up, I'll use that. It's, to me, it's like a shot of espresso because my body is literally so sensitive to caffeine. Um... So when I mix it with the rice, the mushroom coffee, it does the trick. It's like a pick me up, wakes me up. That right there, that's that stuff. 
Okay, so now that I'm getting like my little liquids, drinks ready for the day, I'm getting started way later than usual just because as you've seen, I did all that other stuff. But I'm gonna have my Mullen, is it Mullen? Mullen leaf um, tea. So it looks like this. And I just boop, put that in there, get some water. And we got our Mullen tea. We can let that steep and sit in there for a while. Um, and then we're gonna fill our ice water up. My cute little Barbie Stanley. I typically like to put um, lemons and limes in my water, but I be having that heartburn and acid reflux. And sometimes the lemon water in the lime water like aggravates it. So I don't do it all the time. But back in the day, I used to freaking have putting your water, um, lemon, limes, grapefruit, mint. And I feel like it's something else. Oh, cucumbers. Cucumbers. I can still put cucumbers in my water. It doesn't give me acid reflux. So I may do that. But like grapefruit, you know, all that citrusy things gives me bad acid reflux. Okay, so we got our liquids together. Boom, water, iced coffee, tea. I'm going to grab me a little snack. I don't know what I want. Maybe some grapes. Because I'm supposed to be eating like either a salad or like fruits for the day. And then um, after five o'clock i can have like a snack like a regular snack okay what i'm actually gonna have are these no sugar added sliced peaches and then i put like a little splenda trivia in there not splenda trivia um in there so that's what i'm gonna have because i want it like i don't know i don't know what i'm in the mood for you know what i mean i don't know what i'm in the mood i don't know what i'm in the mood for but i'm gonna have this and then i'm also gonna have a yogurt so i might eat in oh maybe all over the place y'all <laughs> Maybe all over the place. I'm gonna try back tomorrow to eat only fruits and veggies until five, but we'll see. We'll see. I didn't really think it through. I didn't really think it through. Mm -hmm. 